Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I am Farahinur Awanis binti Muhammad Khalid from Bachelor of Science in Biology from UiTM Perlis. My supervisor's name is Madam Sarina binti Muhammad. My title for final year project is a review on antibacterial and antifungal activities of punica granatum peel and seed extract using various solvents. In this video, I would like to explain about introduction, literature review, conclusion and recommendation, and lastly, references. Punica granatum L, or known as pomegranate, belongs to the family Punicaceae. It is a native species from near to Middle East. Additionally, its fruit contains beneficial values such as antibacterial, antifungal, and anti-inflammatory properties. The fruit is made of three parts, peel, aril, and seeds. Peel is an essential source of bioactive compounds such as phenols, elagitanins, anthocyanins, and flavonoids, while seeds specifically have the high amount of fatty acid. Then, various solvent extraction are used to separate the bioactive compounds. The efficacy of solvent depends on various factors such as properties of the solvent, polarity of the solvent, extraction temperature, and the size of raw material. The effectiveness of solvent extraction is analyzed on gram-positive bacteria, gram-negative bacteria, and fungi. Pomegranate is ranked 18th according to annual global fruit consumption statistics. Then, fruit processing industries discarded more than 0.5 billion tons of fruit wastes every year. The inedible component of pomegranate fruit such as peel and seeds contributed to the high amount of fruit wastes. However, previous studies found that bioactive compounds from these fruit parts exhibit antimicrobial, antioxidant, and anti-inflammatory properties. Hence, this study provides an alternative approach by finding out new natural substitute for chemical antimicrobial agent. The objective of the study are to review the antibacterial and antifungal activities of pomegranate peel and seed extracts towards gram-positive bacteria, gram-negative bacteria and fungi and to evaluate the efficacy of solvent extraction. Research questions. What is the good solvent for the extraction of pomegranate peel and seed? How could solvents influence in antibacterial and antifungal activities? What are the other factors that influence in antibacterial and antifungal activities? And which part of pomegranate gave the highest antibacterial and antifungal activities? So, this table shows the summarization of the bioactive compounds in pomegranate peel and seeds. Phenolic compounds such as allergitanins and flavonoids are often said to be good antimicrobial properties. Derivations of tannins which are allergitanins and punicolagins are responsible in inhibiting enteric pathogens. Antibacterial molecule is referring to a compound that kills the bacteria or slow down their growth without being extensively toxic to nearby tissues. Solvent involved were polar solvents and non-polar solvents. Diffusion and dilution method MIC and MBC were involved. Dilution method is useful in determining minimum inhibitory concentration MIC and minimal bacterial concentration MBC. MIC is defined as the lowest concentration of an antimicrobial agent to inhibit the growth of microorganism after the period of incubation while MBC is the lowest concentration of an antimicrobial agent that required to kill the microorganism after subculturing onto the antibiotic-free media. Overall, methanolic, ethanolic, aquos, and acetone peel extracts show good results towards all the tested bacteria compared to other solvents. Polar solvent is a good solvent compared to non-polar solvent. Large zone inhibition in gram-positive bacteria compared to gram-negative bacteria is due to differences of mechanism. 
Inhibitory effects of pomegranate parts were more pronounced at lower temperature compared to higher temperature. Inhibition may due to the differences in cell permeability of bacteria at various temperature. Antifungal activity of punica granatum peel and sea extracts. Antifungal is an agent that selectively eliminates fungal pathogens from the host uh, with minimal toxicity to the host. Solvents involved in most of the studies were polar solvents and only few were non-polar solvents. Diffusion and dilution method, which is MIC, were involved. Overall, only methanolic pill extracts show good inhibition towards tested bacteria. There was a lack of study done for the antifungal of seed extracts. Above all, pomegranate pill extracts show high potential in antibacterial and antifungal activities compared to seed extracts. This is because the presence of high amount of fat in seed might hinder the extraction process. Conclusions uh, There is a significant amount of bioactive compound from pomegranate pill and seed despite being ended up as fruit waste in most of the time. These findings could be a useful tool for pomegranate peel and seeds that are often disregarded as fruit waste to turn into valuable products. Accordingly, polar solvent is a good solvent to be used for the extraction of bioactive compounds. The use of peel and seed extracts with polar solvent also could be used for the exploitation of new microbial drugs for future use. As for recommendation, further experiments are necessary to fill in the lack of published papers and new extraction process such as enzymatic extraction and pressure applied extraction can be implemented in extracting high amount of bioactive compounds in short time.